I love their differences um, to mammals. They're such an unusual animal. I'm so I've owned over a hundred snakes, rescuing them, and I've even built them their own house. Bought my first ever snake in 1992, corn snake. At the moment I own 29, um, I've cut down on the rescuing, and look, because looking after them at my age now is quite difficult. There's an age-old fear, really. Most people just don't even realise that most of them aren't venomous. People still think most of them are venomous. They think you, they bite you for nothing, which is not true. They don't bite for no reason. And um, they're just uneducated, and that's what I like to do, educate people. I made them a separate house because it's just easier to keep them all in one place and to keep the heating, uh, although the heating bill is huge, but it's still um, insulated. I had it all insulated, double glazed, so that to keep the heat in the one area and it's easy, easier to care for them all in one place. I suppose um, to have a favourite is difficult, but I do love boa constrictors. They're more doggy like than other snakes. I don't really have a favourite snake. They are all wonderful. I love them all very much. About snakes, I love their differences um, to mammals. They're such an unusual animal and um, to be able to interact with them when they, their senses are so different to ours is quite good. They shouldn't actually get a pet snake unless they want to look after it properly for 30 years and to give it some stimulation, not leave it stuck in its vivarium, just throwing in a bit of food and some water.